join me in this call to worship. O oh God, Father, that you are, come into our midst. Oh, oh God, 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 you, God, you, you understand, understand Father, good. Mm. O oh God, you are the good Father. Oh God, oh God, 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 you are the good Father. Mother. Oh, together, God, oh God, God, Father, 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 you are, you are, you are now, now and always. always. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, on this day, when we give special honor to our fathers and father figures in our lives, we come before you in humility, parents and children together. We plead for your mercy according to your unfailing love. As children, confess to all and obey, obey our parents. Our parents. <laughs> Wash away, away our iniquity and cleanse and clean our sins. Forgive us for every sinful failure to give our Father, Father's love, respect, or, or forgiveness. As, As parents, parents, we confess, confess that we have always lived, not always lived by perfect, perfect examples. We confess that our relationships with our children are not in a loving parent. Forgive us all for every selfish faithless act or thought that denies or disregards the responsibilities you have given us according to your great compassion, blot our, our iniquity. We have seen again the Lord. Almighty God who established fatherhood in your creation and who has shown a father's love in all your dealings with us. We pray for earthly fathers and their children. We as far as their fathers know, to lead them to their fathers, and and to lead them to their fathers, and to lead them to their fathers, and to lead them to their And fathers, this is for you. Let our children, Let our children see you in us. Give them to value and imitate all the good that you have done in us, and withhold from them our weakness. Mm -hmm. Establishing mm -hmm. our unity in our, in our family. And all, let us pray this prayer. Bless the Father, Lord, and 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 the Father, and the Father, Lord, 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 and the Father, Help us to meet the other. This is for us, wives. Give us humility, strength, love, and patience, Lord, so that we submit our hearts to you. Give us humility, strength, love, and patience, Lord, so that we submit our hearts to you. Help us to be helpers, helpers, and move us to respect, to respect, and strengthen them. And, their roles as fathers. and this is for you, husbands. Give us love, Give us love like you, Christ. Christ. We love our wives. We love your church. And give ourselves love and sensitivity. And trust our soul, Christ. 
and we never in, 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 in loving you and it's all together. Bless and Mary, 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 so now come Holy Spirit, Father, giver and sanctifier, bless us with your wisdom. We pray for the salvation and instruction of children everywhere and let the word of Christ dwell in us richly as we teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, giving thanks to God, our Father, through Jesus Christ, his Son. Amen.
God of power, provision, and unfailing love, we come to you in gratitude as children before a loving parent whose gifts are always good and perfect. In you, we are knit together as one human family created in your image and made to love and serve in your likeness. We celebrate how your divine love is reflected in our human expressions of parenthood and family. We thank you for fathers. We are grateful for the role they play in guiding those entrusted in their care, providing for their needs, shaping their character and behavior, grant them strength for their daily tasks, wisdom in the lessons they teach, patience in their shaping of conscience and character, and love in all they do and say. We give thanks for fathers at all stages of life, 
and for those who have fatherly love. For new fathers braving the new world of parenthood, for seasoned fathers guiding their children into adulthood, for empty nesters rediscovering who they are, for children of aging parents who must develop new ways to love and care, and for fathers in the twilight of their years that they might face the unknown with courage and assurance. In every season of life, we rely on you and your tender guiding hand through every high and low. May we always come to you with a childlike spirit of wonder, humility, and obedience, that we may fully live into the potential that you have created us. We also ask that you be with Juancho as he delivers the sermon this day. In the name of Jesus, we called you Abba Father, and the people of God said, Amen. 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 As we give our offering, let us remember the words of St. Paul found in Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, that says, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, especially those who are of the household. Okay. Our giving can be done through uh, what is spotlighted in our screen.
at us pray. God of great gifts, we give you these gifts today, knowing that you are the father of gifts. You fathered us constantly, providing for us, caring for us. As we have been abundantly provided for, so we give abundantly to the work that you give us to do, the work of the church, the care for those who are poor. Accept these gifts in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us continue our prayer for illumination. Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit, that thus the scriptures are read and the word claim, we may hear with joy what you say to us today. Amen. Our scripture lesson is found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verses 1 to 6, and it reads, Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. For I too was a son to my father, still tender and cherished by my mother. Then he taught me and he said to me, take hold of my words with all your heart, keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words, but turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. The word of the Lord for the people of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, church. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to our Father in Heaven, to all the fathers, especially the fathers of this church. Today, we thank God and celebrate Father's Day in honor of the fathers, the spiritual fathers, and the father figures of our church. We also remember fathers who passed away. How wonderful are these fathers who have been part of our lives. I could say that I'm blessed to have a good father. Unfortunately, I didn't know that some fathers are good. There are children who do not consider their father a blessing. There are fathers who did not become good parents to their children. But even if fathers are not good, they could still have a good relationship with our Heavenly Father, who is the perfect example of what a father should be. He is the most loving and caring father we could hope for. We would do well if we follow his example in all that we do. I'm so glad I can call him father. Church, do you still remember the good things your father has done to you? Let me tell you a story about a little boy's gratefulness to his father. A little boy sat frustrated and near tears. He was trying to build a toy wagon, but he just couldn't get the wheels to go on. His dad came along, took the wagon and the four wheels, and in no time at all, had it running smoothly. The boy was grateful for the loving and helpful touch his father added to his life. Though he's not longer a child, he still remember his father's help that day. 
church, how would you describe your father? Well, my father was a quiet type of person. I can describe him as kind, diligent, hardworking, and responsible. He was a US veteran, a tax collector, and a farmer. He was a good provider and he had a heart for God. He liked gardening and carpentry. He was blessed with a long life. He passed away at the age of 94. Today, I miss my dad and I remember him. I had a memorable story with my dad. Way back when I was a child, my dad brought me to the place where he used to work and that is in the field. The day before, he made a trap for birds in that place. The next day, we came back to visit the field. What a surprise. I saw a beautiful bird caught in the trap with its wings flapping and making noises, trying to escape. My dad handed me the bird. I was so happy and I had the bird to play with. I was so happy to play with my new pet. I could see that my dad made me happy in little things. I believe this is his way of loving me. I can still remember the wonderful things that he did, not only for me, but for our family. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the Father's Day. And we thank you and we celebrate the fathers, including the father of each family, the spiritual fathers and the father figures. Thank you also we, for we remember those fathers who died already. I pray Lord that you will bless them with wisdom, wisdom in providing for their family and being a spiritual father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our sermon for today is about the father's wisdom, honoring the fathers through their wisdom. Our passage is about gaining wisdom by listening to our father's instruction. These proverbs were written by King Solomon. He was both a biological and spiritual father to his son. Solomon learned his lessons from his father, David. He didn't want to keep wisdom for himself, so he shared wisdom to others. The Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In order to know wisdom, we look to Christ, for wisdom is found in the life of Christ. The Bible also says, but grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 1 says, listen to my, my sons, to a father's instruction. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. This is wisdom that Solomon's sons should listen to their father's instruction. How? By obeying the Proverbs teaching and guidance that is necessary for successful life. We gain wisdom by watching and listening to our father and mother and learn from their mistakes and the good they have done. It is the father's responsibility to provide physical and the spiritual needs of the family. Without their instruction, it will be far more difficult for the young man to reach maturity. King Solomon encouraged his sons to listen to a father's instruction in order to gain an understanding of what is deep and true. His words are to be used for guidance in dealing with situations they may encounter in life. A father's greater joy is to teach his children walking in truth. Children in turn must listen to a father's instruction 
for it points to something much greater. God's children obeying their heavenly father. A loving father should teach his children how to really live their lives for the glory of God. As Clarence Kellard says, his father didn't tell him how to live. His father lived and let him as his son watch how to do it. Verse 1 also says, pay attention and gain understanding. King Solomon taught his sons to pay at attention to a father's instruction by obeying and re responding to it favorably. They need to pay attention to what they hear lest they drift away. He also taught his sons how to gain understanding, insight, or discernment. They need to listen, be slow to speak, and watch what they say and how they say it. One who possesses understanding can see the big picture or the entire matter, not just the isolated facts. Proverbs 3.13 says, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. He who restrains his words has knowledge and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Sad to say, not all receive wisdom and understanding. God gives understanding to whom he is pleased. Verse two says, I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. God's word is sound learning. Fathers should impart sound learning to their sons so that they do not forsake our Father's teaching. He who forsakes, rejects, and does not receive God's word. John 12, 28 says, the word that I have spoken will judge him on the last day. King Solomon said, take hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. Listen to me as you would to a father. Listen and grow wise, for I speak. It is the father's role to teach his children the path of the just, in contrast to the way of the wicked. Children should pursue wisdom, avoid the wicked, and stick to the right path. As children of God, it is our duty to search the scriptures faithfully to see if what we hear is right. In the Bible, there are several teachings or instructions. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Children, honor your father and your mother so you, that you will have long life on earth. Jesus said to his disciples, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey what I have commanded and I will be with you till the end of the age. Child, if your father teaches you something, listen to him. If he does not teach you, ask him to teach you God's holy scriptures. Pay attention to his instruction. Humble yourself. Do not forsake his teaching. Cheer him for his efforts. Thank him, remember his lesson, obey his instruction. God's children should not listen to false teachings like the evil, deceitful, careless teachings and the false teachers in the world. Usually those who don't listen to sound teachings are those whose fathers who are too busy or disinterested so they go astray. As an application, let us review Solomon's instruction to his beloved sons. Listen, my sons, to your father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. 
As a child, my father gave me good instructions in life. Go to bed early, which is an instruction for a healthy life. Be careful in climbing trees. As a young boy, I was a tree climber. Unfortunately, I fell down from a santal tree 20 feet high and I almost died. Accidents happen. Maybe I was not careful enough. Ask permission if you're leaving the house or the home. There were a few times that I left home without permission from my parents. Out of my desire to go to the river with my peers, I went to that place without my parents' permission. My parents got mad and I received disciplinary action. I need to listen to their instruction. Be careful and watchful to avoid accidents. When I was a young boy, I almost got an accident. I played with running vehicles by crossing the street when the vehicle was near. The driver was looking for me in the bus where I hid, but he didn't see me. The driver might, might be prostrated, he did not see me. It's my fault I was not listening to my father's instruction. In all that I have mentioned, I learned that my father's instructions are good and for my own welfare. Those were my childhood days. The instruction might save my life from danger. There is danger in not following instructions. Our Heavenly Father is the Father's source of wisdom and instruction. It is our children's solemn duty or the children's duty to hear attentively all that he teaches by any means. Jesus Christ is our greatest model and example of wisdom. He heard all his father taught. He attended all his instructions. He declared plainly that he always did those things that pleased the father. Even when Jesus seemed overwhelming in Gethsemane, he heard and obeyed the father's will over his own. Let his holy example teach and provoke you today. In conclusion, let me end my sermon by sharing a quote regarding a father and his son. One night, a father overheard his son prayed, Dear God, make me a man my daddy is. Later that night, the father prayed, Dear God, make me the kind of man my son wants me to be. What a father-son relationship. May our Heavenly Father continue to bless the fathers with wisdom. Blessed are those who listen to a father's instruction, for this is wisdom, to know God and to glorify his name forever. God bless the fathers.
Before the closing prayer and benediction, I wanted to um, spend a few days of, of, sorry, a few minutes together at this moment to share a little bit about our memories of our fathers. For those who have, um, whose fathers have passed on and others of you whose fathers are still living, um, good experience, something that uh, you remember about your father that reminds you of the good father with the capital letter F uh, that brought you closer to God himself. So I'd like to hear from some of you. Um, go ahead and unmute um, if you'd like to share a short story, a good memory in honor of your father. So go ahead. It was so nice to hear Juan to share uh, lots of great memories of his dad. Hello, everybody. It's Benny. Hi, Benny. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to hear about my dad? Please tell okay. us about your dad. Uh, <laughs> I'm really embarrassed about it. You know what? My dad uh, was not really very fond of me because uh, I was uh, uh, a problem to him. Uh, <clears throat> when I was younger and not really that young, maybe in my eighties, uh, like in the uh, early sixty, I don't know, early seventies. Uh, uh, I was uh, uh, involved with a lot of uh, uh, vices that is not really uh, conducive to being a well-rounded person, like gambling, womanizing, uh, you know, drug, and uh, so my dad, you know. Uh, it was not really fun of me because uh, he said, I, I uh, you know, I, every time somebody called, it's either about a horse race or uh, a woman, you know? So he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, Benny, <laughs> you, you not, yeah, you are, you are crazy. And uh, anyway, I really enjoyed it uh, now that, you know, I really, no, not really enjoyed it, but uh, now I realize that uh, uh, all the things that he was saying that, you know, uh, to be, because we are actually, our roots is uh, Chinese. And uh, he wanted us more, you know, the kids, we are five boys, uh, to be, uh, be close to our roots, like uh, be more into 
the Chinese tradition, you know, of being, uh, uh, you know, being uh, 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 respectful uh, to your dad, to your parents. But uh, what he saw in me was uh, the opposite. Uh, you know, I, I like my dad because uh, as I grew older, uh, I uh, was able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, be a friend of him that uh, most of the time when he would say something and then I would, uh, you know, negate or uh, do the opposite and we would laugh about it. And uh, uh, it's like a buddy, you know, like a friend. And uh, that's how I really remember him because uh, as we grew older, uh, he, he realized that, you know, uh, there's no point in uh, uh, forcing us to do the things that he wanted. So uh, as uh, years go by, went by uh, until he, his death, at the age of 63, uh, I, I was never able, I did not were able to really make him proud of me because uh, all the things I did. That is why when he died, I, I, I really uh, promised myself not this thing would be happening with my mom. So I was you know, when my mom, I, I, me and my mom uh, together, lived together, uh, I uh, gave all my, my heart, all my, my all, the, all the things that my mom wanted, I did it for her, just mm. because the memory of my dad. Mm. Uh, that's about it. Thank mm. you. Mm. Well, thank you, Benny, for sharing. Um, one thing that you, um, help all of us to remember is that, um, you know, there's a finite time, right? Where we can, when we can be with our parents. Um, for those of you who uh, had to uh, give up your parents back to God, um, it's, it's a really um, a surreal moment to think, you know, who knew that your dad would pass away at such a young age, Benny, right? 63. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who have <laughs> parents or fathers who are still living, uh, for us to be remind be remind, reminded of that, and I I, I say that um, speaks loud to me because um, my dad is ninety. Uh, he's going to be ninety this summer. <clears throat> he um, is a very a loving and sweet dad. Um, has always been, and. Um, there isn't uh, enough time for us to, for, for me to spend more time with them. Every moment is precious. Um, and for me to know <laughs> that, especially today from your, your story that you share, Benny. So thank you. Yeah, others of you. Thank you.